So today is Sunday, June 12th, 2016. And Mother and I are just walking out and taking a little tour of the yard. Going out to the garden. It's been very dry this season. And so I've been watering and watering and watering. The garden is just starting to come up. Strawberries need to be picked today. Uh, they're not as big as they should be because we haven't had the rain. Yeah, we poured a ton of water on them last night. And then we put the cages on the, on the tomatoes. I've got uh, three rhubarb plants here. That's one, that's one, that's one. Boy, well, they're coming nicely. Yes, they are. And I have in here just started some lettuce. You can see them starting, Mother, right here. Oh, they're just yeah. starting. Then there's three cabbage plants in there, and there's cilantro in the back. Wow. And then, of course, that's my oregano. Oh, that's oregano. And then... It's going to bloom, isn't it? Yes, it is. And then I have corn. Where are these from? That's from my little seedling when I was made the seeds. Then here's the corn, and I planted a bean oh by each gosh. corn. <laughs> corn. I had to cut that thing down because it was infringing on my last little corn right there. He wasn't doing good, so I had to cut that down. Then I, this what, is called the uh, malign. This is uh, an acorn squash, and uh, the method I used to plant the corn this year was called Three Sisters. You plant the corn, you let it get going. What happened to this guy? Can you can you straighten him? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to uh, put dirt, dirt. Uh, it's gonna have to be. Yeah, it's gonna have to. You got all my, oh, my coffee. And then uh, I have one bean seed on the right side of every one of them, and then this one. Uh, this one is Brussels sprouts, and they're finally coming. There's one right there. Oh, uh, where is it? Right there. And there's one. This is a weed here. Yep. And here's a bigger one. And they're finally coming. This is a row of. Oh, yeah. This is a row of Brussels sprouts too, but all that's in there is Cleome. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to have to take uh, that Cleome out. I told Nancy, here's one. Here's a Brussels sprout. You know, Terry, uh, I would like some of those up at the house because all I've got is a little, you know, anywhere near that size. If you take them out. And, you just don't throw them out. And uh, my hot peppers, nothing came. Nothing came in my hot peppers. This is uh, this is carrots, and that's a carrot right there. Oh yeah, I see uh, it. Carrot right there. But there's not a whole lot of them. Here's one, two. Do, do you do you know if this is anything? That is something. Uh, yeah. What is it? That's not, that's not, I don't think it's a weed, but I don't know what it is. I wonder if I double planted this row. You might have put something else in there. Yeah. So. Anyway. <clears throat> then over here is beets. Oh, yep. Beets. Beets are in this row, and I don't know. Do you know what this is, Mother? I this volunteered itself. I don't know what it is. It, it looks sort of like cabbage, doesn't it? 
It does. It might be. I don't know what it is. Maybe you dropped something. And, but I don't see a whole lot of beets in there either. So I may have to come out and yeah. replant. And then this is my, my charred plant. And this is my, this is kale right here. And the, uh, this is the grapes oh, over here. The grapes. grapes. Oh, look at your berries. Yeah. Oh. I poured a ton of water on them last night. And then... Oh, look at this here, Jerry. The big. Yeah. That. And then this is the potatoes. I got to start mounding them pretty soon. You're supposed to mound them. They're looking pretty good. And then this is the this is the uh, lots of lots of grapes. Lots and lots and lots of grapes. Watch out when you come over here because you got all these logs. Look at all the look at all the weeds I pulled out of there yesterday. Oh my gosh. You can come over here. But they're they're pretty loaded. They're pretty loaded. What big thing? That's grass. Oh, okay. We put grass around them. Okay. And oh, the, you're gonna have grapes galore. And then this is my this is my minefield. <laughs> yeah. This is my uh, obstacle course. Uh, actually, this is um, black plastic down on half of my garden because uh, trying to cook the dirt. Plus, it will cover cover the dirt from the blink, blinkity blink chemtrails. So that's a little tour. I think I'm going to let the let the asparagus, uh, that's my asparagus row. You probably can't see much of that. Isn't this beautiful? And uh, I'm going to probably let that go. And this is the peony bush. I probably should get another bush on the other side. That's my pe that was peony bush. That was thing in there. This side is a mess. This is all irises that need to be cleaned out, and I just don't have time. I just can't do it. I'm, I need to have that redone. So we haven't, we haven't mowed the lawn for over probably about 10 days because it's been so dry. And uh, work. It did rain for about five minutes last night. We did have a shower. But these, I, I cut these. That's a dill in there too. Uh, I cut those off uh, yes, Friday night, or even yesterday. And look how they grow like overnight. But I think it's time to let them uh, go to start growing. And then this is a cabbage plant. And I've got cauliflower plants. I have a volunteer tomato plant I'm going to let grow. I'm going to have to do a little replanting on, on some of this stuff, this, unfortunately. Not sure why it didn't come up. That's my blueberry bushes. And they have lots of berries that I'm going to have to keep on watering them. And my mama gonna be 90 years old this year still doing great Beautiful. I, I, uh, I'm get another one of those and put it on the other that's side. a good idea and then walking up the driveway it's a little chilly this morning isn't it We're going to go to Abelie's and get uh, get a rose, couple rose bushes, I think. 
got some empty spaces to fill. It's a beautiful piece of property. It takes a lot of... <laughs> yeah. Sure does look nice. I'm gonna go around the other side and look at your flowers in the back. Oh, look at my roses from here. They're beautiful. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna get two more bushes. And maybe a clematis. Would you like a clematis on that one corner? It is beautiful. It's a nice pasta. Yeah, do trimming. They are very pretty. Yes. And this is beautiful. And that is, you did a hell of a job. I look out my window in my bedroom at it every night, every morning. You know, those lily of the valleys are in the back and they're living, but they're not doing anything, are they? I'm not crazy about those anyway. I don't care about those. Well, this looks nice. I gotta stain these stairs. I'm gonna do that. That's one of the things I am going to do. And I did plant some more hostas to fill in that hole right there, but it's gonna take a while for them to. Where is that now? That right there. Right here. Over here. Yeah, those little ones. I planted those this year. Oh, okay. Um. You know this. This in here. I have to clean that. I don't have enough time. Not enough time. We'll walk down the walk down there and then you can get it up. <laughs> get it up, honey. And this is the back side and the virgin and I have this is I didn't get around to watering this and it's dry. Uh, it's not too dry. I mean it's not too bad, but it needs needs uh it needs some rain. This is so pretty. It's being taken over by this. This is too too close. Do you want me to get that one out? No, we'll do it when we There's my there's a that fern is pretty isn't it it likes it I, there i love that fern and that was just a that like just that. came that just came didn't it and this is the flowers around the east side of the house and the house looks really really super good everything looks good he did a pretty good job i'd say See these didn't don't get watered. I know. Well, I tried last night. Yeah. I tried and tried. You want to go look at your flowers? Yeah, this is where I spend a lot of time. I don't know where they are. I got some work to do in the lake or pond, I should say. What kind of weather is this anyway? This is crazy weather. It's been windy. It was hot, hot, hot yesterday and windy and no rain. No rain. Okay, that's enough for now. Oh, here it is.